Baggy clothes and loud techno intros? I'm SD, ain't nobody got time for that. Let's do this. Now everybody's got that favorite pair of jeans. They're the perfect wash, they're the perfect fit, they're literally like the perfect everything. And you're probably gonna wear them until one of two things happen. One, you go back to get another pair in that same brand and the same style, only to realize they don't make them anymore. Or two, they do still make them and you're so pumped and ecstatic and then you look and... Eh, they don't have your size. Well, instead of trying to track down the right size within a 30 mile radius of the metro that you live in, you can just clone your old jeans. What? Yeah. Just, uh, clone them. Oh, and if you're new here and you've never touched a sewing machine, just go check out the description, binge watch all of those for 20 minutes, and you're probably gonna have a pretty good grasp on everything. These, these are my favorite jeans of all time. And I went back to get another pair because these ones are, they're kinda getting a little bit faded. And oh, weird. They don't have my size. And rather than let Target think that I'm gonna go drive to another Target that's like 20 miles down the road, I got these instead. <laughs> nice dad jeans. And even though the tag says that they are the exact same length as my old jeans, clearly they are not. We're gonna, we're gonna have to shorten them too. Now I took my new jeans, turned them inside out, and put my old jeans right on top. And I made sure to line up those outside seams as close as I could get them. Since one pair is inside out and the other pair isn't, that's important. Then I threw some pins in the side of the new jeans right alongside the old ones and just made them the same size as the old ones. Yeah, that? That doesn't seem very accurate. Yeah, you're right. Go back and measure and see what it actually says. I'm taking off an inch in the thigh and then once I get down to the knee, it's gonna be an inch and a half. And once I get down to my ankle, it's gonna be an inch and three quarters, which is gonna give me just a really nice taper. And give yourself a little bit of seam allowance just in case you need it. Not a lot, just like a quarter to a half of an inch because that way, if you need to take them in a little bit more later on, you can do that. But if they come out too tight, well, you're SOL. And before all the professional seamstress fill my inbox telling me that I'm a horrible human being for making this video the way that I am, you need to be aware that there are other ways to alter your jeans, including but not limited to tapering the outside as opposed to the inside or doing both. Now, when you do this, get the same size that you normally wear because that way you can do the inside seam without making it all crazy. I wear a 34-32, so that's what both of these pants are. But I wouldn't go out and get like a 36-32 or a 38-32 and try and clone them. It would just twist the whole leg and that outside seam and just, just yeah, it'd be ugly. Now ask yourself one question, your pins. Do they look like this? Good. Oh, they don't? Well, make, make them look like that. Last time we sewed pants, we just sewed all the way through from one ankle through that crotch seam down to the other ankle. And we're doing the same thing here. Now, you might need to upgrade your needle and thread for this because we're sewing denim, which is gonna be thicker, which not every needle can really tolerate. But these jeans for denim, they're really not all that thick. So my needle and thread can handle this pair of jeans perfectly fine, but as a heads up, yours might not be the same. Oh, and uh, we're using white thread on black jeans. Why? Cause that way you can see exactly what I did at the end. <laughs> Taking one for the team. And now, we sew. Now, somebody asked me in the comments a couple of weeks ago if I have like a sewing room in my house with like this big elaborate setup with all these shelves filled with all my supplies. Nope, no, not at all. I put my sewing machine on a stool and then I sit on a utility ladder when I sew. Why? Why not? Use what you got. Hey, do you want rice for lunch? Do you have chicken? I'm black, of course I got chicken. We are done! We put a straight stitch all the way through those jeans and it looks like this. And so that edge doesn't get all frayed in the washing machine when we wash these pants, we put a zigzag stitch over it. It looks like this. And now you would be done if it wasn't for the fact that somebody over at Wrangler decided they don't know how to do basic math and these 32 inch jeans actually aren't even 32 inches. Bro, you had one job. Let's take care of these long legs. How much do you want to take off? 
I'm taking off that much. So I just folded it over and then I tried it on to see if I liked it. Now look at your sewing machine. Does it look like that? Yeah? We'll make it look like this instead. This piece on the end, that actually comes right off so that you can put your jeans right on the end to hem them. Now go slow. You want to make sure that line is straight and line it up right with your measurements on your sewing machine. It'll keep you pointed in the right direction. It'll make sure that it's going like, like that. Cut off all that extra fabric, zigzag, ziggity zag, and now you're done. Crack open one of these because you just tailored your own jeans, bro. You earned it. Oh man, they look so much better. <laughs> what else are you gonna tailor? SD out deuces.